Okay, but now the thing we need to change is the description here. This is clearly not what we want for our theme. So how do we do that? Well, all this information is located within the styles.css file. So if we take a look at that's the this guy, practice themes. If you search for the file, it's called styles.css. Open it up. Okay. Just go that. If you open it up, you will see that the styles.css file contains two portions. One is this um, top commented area that pertains to the theme description. And then the second part, it contains a bunch of CSS. Um, the styles.css is the main CSS file for your WordPress templates layout. So any CSS you have pertaining to the layout should go on this page or be imported by this page, okay? So let's just go in and change the uh, description for now. So it's no longer Starkers, it's our practice site. So I'm just going to call it um, HTML2 WordPress practice theme. And then the URI, I'm going to change it back to my address and in the description get rid of that and then type in um, this is a theme to demonstrate how to convert uh, HTML layout into a WordPress theme okay Version number, um, well, this is probably 0 0.1 because it's completely brand new. And then the offer, put in your name. So I'm just going to put in Cheryl. And then your URI, type in your address. So I'm going to put in nmbox.ca, oops, box.ca again. And then tags, um, just tags relating to the site. So this is HTML to WP. And then this is a practice theme. And then I'll probably put in my name. And then that's it. Okay. So let's just uh, save this. And then take a look back at our themes page. Let's reload it. And you can see that the information has been changed. So um, we have uh, the name of the theme, which is HTML to WordPress practice theme, and then the offer name, and then the description, and then you can activate it, etc. right? So let us just um, activate it. OK. Now the next thing we need to work on is the CSS since we are already on this page. So in the starters theme, um, Elliot J Stock has imported all the different style sheets for use, but we're not going to use any of these. So just let's just get rid of that. Instead, we will put our CSS directly into this file. So if we go back into uh, not the themes folder, but into our images folder, um, which is uh, under demo layout. Under demo layout, you would have uh, the image folder. And under that, you have something called demo layout.css. Open that file. Okay, so this is a file demo layout.css. Um, what we want to do is actually, I'm just going to move this over into a new window just to make it a little bit easier for us to see both at the same time. Okay. So, uh, you can see here, this is a CSS for the site. What I need to do is now just copy everything besides the header information section. Everything. Copy and then place it into styles.css. Perfect. Go back up. Right. Save it. Okay, so now let's go back to our site and hit refresh. And you can see that it sends to CSS and so there's some uh, change in the styling, but clearly it still needs a lot of work.
Okay. So now uh, the next thing I want you to do is to change all the URL, uh, URLs for the images. Uh, right now a lot of background images um, are specified using just the um, the file name but if you look at um, the structure of how uh, the placement of our files, you can see that under the new uh, practice theme folder, the style CS, styles um, .css file is no longer sitting in the same folder as within the images. Oh, actually, I haven't even included the image folder into our theme. So let's just do that. We need to copy this theme folder. So I'm just going to drag it and dump it into the practice theme folder. So I just alt drag, I just copy the uh, demo uh, from the demo layout, the images folder, and um, paste it into the practice theme folder. So now you can see that I've added the images section here containing everything. But however, you can see that uh, the CSS file is no longer sitting inside. This is actually garbage, so I'm just going to delete that. This CSS file is now one folder above and then the rest of the images are in the images. And therefore here you can see that the URLs needs to be changed. So uh, instead of having just quote.gif, it's going to be images slash quote.gif, right? So now what we need to do is change it for all the images within the CSS file. So the easiest way to do this is probably to use the uh, find and replace function. And then um, usually most text editors will have this option. Just hit Command F, and you should access something like that. And then so we need to find the opening of the tag URL open bracket, and then we want to replace it with uh, images slash oops slash. So I will ask it to find and replace all of them. And then uh, Text Wrangler has been telling me that 15 occurrences of this has been spotted and they've all been replaced. And so you can see that all of them should be fixed. Right. So let's save the file. And then go back and check. There shouldn't be any changes to any of our formatting yet because we haven't added anything in yet. Oh wait, it did change. So you can see that the background has been added. So you can see that. But beyond that, you can't see anything at the moment. Okay, so let's just go back to this. The file themselves and open up. Right. So our next step is to actually go in and create the headers. So to do that, let us open the header.php file. So, which one is it? This guy, practice theme. Um, the header.php file under the practice theme folder is right there. So I'm just going to open it there, headers. Yes, please. Okay, so this is the header file that has been included in the starter's uh, theme. And then the next file we need to open is within our demo layout folder. Let's open index.html. So I'm going to open it on the other side. Perfect. All right. So actually, it's probably a good idea for us to see what this index.html file looks like if you haven't already done so. So uh, let's let me open a new tab and then open that to show you. So index.html looks like this. Okay, so you can see here that the header section probably includes everything from here to there, including this um, tab navigation menu 